Mattress Mike is discounting his whole mattress inventory to help flood victims. The original price and the sales price of each mattress are shown in the table below. We're going to look at the table in a minute, but right now, based upon the data in this table that we're going to see, what would be the sale price of an item that had an original price of $850? Okay, your original price and then the sale price, they give us some numbers here. 300 to 210 this discount is about $90, isn't it? Okay. Now $400 would be 280 500 350 600 you'd have to pay what? And 700 you would have to pay $490. Now each one of these has the same ratio, okay? Okay. It's discounted the same percentage. So once you figure one of them, you got all of them. Okay? It's discounted the same amount on every one of them. So what is the discount? We're going to have what? Four choices here for an $850 price. What are you going to have to pay? Okay? So, um, first of all, let's look at this 300 and 210. We would like to know 210 is what percent of the what? Of the original 300. So we're going to figure out what the rate is. It's not going to change for any of these. Okay. Later on, if you want to, you can compare them. Okay. But uh, right now, we're just going to assume that it's the same for all of them. All right. So I'm looking for what percent of 300 is 210. So here's my uh, my problem now. We're going to have two fractions that are equal. Set it up as a proportion. This is my rate. That's my unknown, and it's always my left fraction. The denominator on the rate is always a one with two zeros. You see the one there, slanted one with two zeros? That means percent. Percent means put it over what? A one with two zeros. One with two zeros. Percent always means hundreds. So you can see that right there. You got two zeros. Now the of, the number after the of is the base. So you might say of points to the base. And the base being after the word of goes in the bottom or the top? The base, you might think, is the basement or the bottom. So put the 300 on the bottom. The only other place for the 210 is right here. So this is my ratio, my proportion with two ratios on it, okay? And what you do when these are equal, you simply could take 210 times 100 and divide it by the other number, okay? So x is 210 times 100 and divide it by this number, okay? So this is my problem now. I'm going to I'm going to reduce these by 30. This one and this one 30 goes into each of those numbers. 30 goes in, in the 210 seven times. 30 in the 300 goes 10 times. So now I have 7 times 100 over 10. So x is going to be 700, 7 times 100 divided by 10. And we're looking at x being 70 what? 70 what? percent, right? The what was 70, it's 70%, 70 so we're going to put 70 right here. Now, I want to figure 70%, not of 300, but I want to do 70% of 850, okay? And it turns out if you do 70% of each of these numbers, you'll get these numbers, okay? You can find that out on a calculator. Simply take 0 0.7 times 400, you'll get this. 0 0.7 times 500 is this. 0 0.7 times this is this. Look, 7 times... 4 is 28, 7 times 5 is 35, 7 times 6 is 42, and 7 times 7 is 49. So 70% is the uh, what, what, he, what the people have to pay. And we want to know what is 70% of what? If it's not 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, what if it's $850? What is 70% of 850? So this becomes my new problem. Write it up here. This is my rate, so of my proportion, my proportion, one fraction equals another fraction. We call that a proportion. This is the rate, which is 70 over 100. My of points to the what? To the base, which goes in the basement. And my what is my unknown. The only place left for it is right here. So now I'm going to do 70 times 850. 70 times 850. Write it down here. Do 70 times 850 and divide it by the other number, okay? 
So x is 70 times 850, 70 times 850, and divide it by the what? By the circled number down here. Okay, so here's my problem. I'm going to divide this by uh, 10, divide that by 10. Okay, divide both those by 10. It's going to go 7 times. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So now I have 7 times 850. 7 times 850, if you do that on a calculator, you're going to get 5950 divided by the 10. Cross off the 0, and you're going to have $595. Okay, so of these four choices, we pick answer C.